We've heard a lot today about uh, zoning and uh, problems of place and transit issues and so on. I'm going to spend most of my time talking about the people, the professionals, men and women who actually write the zoning ordinances and the plans that actually uh, are implemented in, in uh, undesirable ways. Uh, another uh, cautionary note is, although I'll be talking about planners, urban planners specifically in my presentation, um, in order to address uh, the problem of poverty reduction, we are going to need a rational collective, which includes the target population, the planners, the politicians, business leaders, public and private stakeholders, all focused very, very narrowly on the problem of poverty reduction. Uh, I'm going to be beginning with a difference between traditional urban planners and equity planners, what I call equity planners. Others have called them advocate planners. Most city planners deal with the physical city. They write zoning ordinances, make land use plans, and so on, design streets and parks. Uh, those of you who are in municipal government are familiar with that kind of planning. There is a different kind of uh, planning going on uh, to a small degree. It's called equity planning, and the equity planners are different. They are city planners who deliberately try to move resources, political poli uh, participation and power toward lower income disadvantaged citizens. They do that in order to create a more just and a more democratic society as well as to help low income people. Equity planners believe that priority attention should be directed to the goal of, of promoting more choices for those citizens of their communities who have few, if any, choices. And equity planning efforts have been documented in a number of cities, including the one shown on this slide, Boston, Cleveland, Chicago, Jersey City, Santa Monica, Santa Cruz, uh, et cetera. In those cities, equity planners have pushed for the kinds of issues that we've been talking about this morning, more affordable housing on a regional basis, a regional low-income housing schemes, more transit services, lower transit fares, issues like rent control, linkage arrangements, which include community benefit agreements, or CABs, and other kinds of programs designed to help lower income uh, groups. In linkage deals, as those of you who have experienced them might be familiar, uh, subsidized or special rights that are granted by cities are offset by contributions by developers for jobs, affordable housing, or neighborhood investments. Legally binding uh, CABs are similar. Uh, in 2009, there were 27 CBAs, I'm sorry, CBAs, 27 CBAs in U.S. cities, and they uh, tend to grease the wheels of development. The most recent ones, perhaps the most spectacular one, was in Brooklyn, uh, New York, where the Atlantic Yards development is going forward, directed by Forest City, in which a very, very large community benefit agreement has been reached. Um, I'm going to close this by sort of running through a list of rules that I think should uh, guide the activity of uh, pa planners who are interested in the reduction of poverty. First, planners should take an active role in all deliberative settings in pressing for more egalitarian solutions and blocking ones that disproportionately benefit people who are already well off. Second, plans must be developed in open consultation with the target population. Third, community and economic development schemes should be linked to jobs. For example, federal subsidies for demolition, as in the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, should be used to hire deconstruction teams to take down unwanted structures, pretty much with a pry bar and fundamental equipment. Crews could also be hired for urban beautification along key urban streets. Uh, example number two along this line, um, uh, uh, evergreen or so-called evergreen worker-owned cooperatives that are being set up in the city of Cleveland for a laundry, for example, for a greenhouse to grow locally grown, grown produce, uh, for the installation, uh, installation of solar uh, panels. 
uh, this uh, program, incidentally, must be working on some kind of a fantastic uh, uh, range of uh, political approval. It's gotten favorable write-ups from the left and the right, both in The Economist magazine and in Fortune uh, magazine. Um, check it out if you're not familiar with it. Um, next, um, a rule should be that transit fares should be kept very low with as much service as possible. And then I have an argument for uh, the reason for transit fares being kept low, which I think is a rational kind of an argument. The transit dependent population really has been disadvantaged in terms of loss of its mobility by our societal uh, decision to opt for an automotive society. Next, planners should work to ease rules on taxi regulation. We discussed that briefly earlier, allowing for easier entry into the hacking or jetney business. Next, all new housing developments uh, should provide units for household with incomes below the median. And in my view, as much as possible, housing should be available through the governmental programs, nonprofit, or limited profit providers. Next, planners should work with others to, assume, to assure that all households eligible for the earned income tax uh, credit should file for the credit. Uh, number nine, planners should use licensing, zoning, and regulatory tools to limit the location and fees charged by che check cashing and payday loan businesses, and should, on the other hand, encourage legitimate commercial banks to reconnect with low-income neighborhoods to save the money that, that uh, Todd Swanstrom uh, perceptively pointed out, that it costs more to, uh, to be in that kind of a, uh, a poverty-concentrated program. Thank you very much. I'll just run through the last couple of slides very quickly. Mega projects should be subjected to heightened scrutinies, and if public subsidies are involved, uh, community benefit agreements or linkage agreements should be involved. Um, zoning should not be used to further discriminatory ends. Sorry. Just a couple more. Um, planners should work toward regional cooperation, see seeking regional distribution plans for affordable housing, and also work, as we're working in Cleveland, on reverse commuting schemes to collect their, connect areas of high unemployment with suburban jobs. Uh, and finally, planners should work to provide uh, land and resources for community gardens and farms to help people grow nutritious local food. One more last uh, line, 14, planners should work with and strengthen neighborhood-based community development corporations, which will help develop, in addition to improving uh, governance at the local level, help develop the kind of political will that has been lacking in so many communities. Thank you very much.